Hey everybody, welcome back. Just getting in from a race. We're gonna show you the new rigid battery charger we picked up. We'll get it opened up and put a battery on, see how it's working and say what we think about that and show y'all some of the new Gerald Farms racing hats that we have and as you can see we still got tons of Brandon Strong stickers helping Brandon's family raise money for him but we'll dive into all that in a few minutes all right this is the rigid dual charger it's a sequential which I believe if I'm not mistaken you can put them both in, it's going to test them, then it's going to charge one first, then the other one. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I'm right though. It is a AC840094. has two pass-through AC plugs and two USB plugs, like for charging cell phones and all your doodads. And if you want to pause that and read it, you can. But Come on, let's get it out of the pack. Been in the pack long enough. Hope everybody's having a good day or night whenever you might see this. Enough for trying to tear it. I believe the packaging costs about as much as some product you buy. heavy cord on it that's good there's a reset you can hang it on the wall also I don't know if I'll leave and if it's got a three-year warranty three-year warranty on it I'm not sure if you can register this for the lifetime service agreement probably not I think it has to come with a, a tool or a kit to qualify for that if I think about it I'll try to look it up and put it in the con and put it up above below or somewhere if I remember if I don't remember I'm sorry I thought I brought a battery out here that needed charging if I didn't I'll go get it I know I got one got a light coming on tell us we got power well, let me go grab a battery all right here is a four amp hour has one battery one light showing on it all right here's a three amp hour that has one light showing up I'm gonna put them in and Right, it will turn orange and it turned green. I reckon that means it's charging. That one's orange and that says to be charged. If I snap this one out, what does it do? Go to charging that one. Okay, we're just going to let it do its thing. We'll scoot it to the side and we'll talk to you about some other stuff while that's going in the background. Here's some of the Brandon Strong. That's a, I think like an 8 by 30. That's just like the one that we have on the hood of our car. Of course, the hood's off of it right this minute, but I don't know why I turn around to show you that. But that's the ones for there, and there's like a four by twenty, and there's an even smaller one. And then we got the back glass sizes. You know, they're still raising money. Brandon surgery at Duke in North Carolina went good. He's home. Not sure exactly what the next steps is going to be, but maybe we'll have an update on that coming here soon. And um. 
as soon as I do get more info exactly what the next steps is. I'm not sure if they're going to do chemo now or not, but I'm thinking so. But when I get, a, get more news on that, I'll update everyone. Here goes a few different colors of our Gerald Farms racing hat. You see it's got our zero on the front. And on the side, it's got, that's Gerald Farms. They just wrapped up to protect them so we don't get them too dirty. Gerald. It says Gerald Farms on the side of all of them. But them should be on our tri finds TFD tri finds Gerald Farms link. Along with the t-shirts. In fact, they got hoodies, t-shirts. You can get them with the purple writing or the black writing, whichever one you want. Let's try to plug something into the front of this charger and see if the pass-through stuff works what time the batteries is charging. I'm going to try... My GoPros is laying right here. I'm going to try to plug one of them up. If I can get it to open. Yeah, that might be the right one. See little light come on. Get the little lights on. See the little light blinking or burning. So that's good. Still dirty. Helmet's still filthy too. That's why we didn't have no GoPro footage. It's real muddy. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not in the video here, but something else rigid that we use all the time. Sitting right there is running now. It'll run on the 18 volt batteries for what seems like forever. And you can plug it into 110 right in the back where the batteries go. But even if I'm not using it at the racetrack, the dogs is using it. But like right now in the trailer here, if I turn the big fan on close, it's so loud you can't hear nothing. So I turn that little one on and use it all the time. Alrighty. Everything's looking good with the charger. It's charging a lot faster than my single charger, so it must be a rapid charger. And uh, port on the front, charge the GoPro up fast. Everything looked good. So, so far I give it a thumbs up. It's got, what's that, Gen 5X on top. So far it looks good. If you have any issue out of it, y'all know I'll definitely let you know here in the future but so far so good i appreciate y'all watching and supporting us here at gerald farms have a good one